Dozens of people attended the Space and Rocket Center as NASA held a fundraiser to pay honor to those who gave their contribution to space exploration. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee joins us live from the Space and Rocket Center. And Daquan, you were in attendance for tonight's meet and greet. Yeah, Nolan, I was. And like you said, tonight was a tribute to everybody in past and current space missions and their contributions. And there were even a few special guests that really made the crowd come alive. Saturday was the start of a two day fundraiser to support the creation of the Space Exploration Memorial. As a part of the new Rocket Park, the project aims to give credit to everybody who helped shape space exploration into what it is today especially those who worked here in the Rocket City. This is just a part of making sure that we don't lose that history and we preserve the legacy of all of those people that came into our community, that lived in our community, to make something like this possible. It's something very special. Parker Counts has spent four decades working for NASA, now serving as a consultant for the Artemis program. He says one of the more difficult pieces of this project is just tracking down who all deserves their dues. We're reaching out to uh, all the current organizations at Marshall, as well as those of past. And many of us have relationships to contractors, and, and we want to get those names in the database. Count says tonight they were able to get 23,000 of those names from Marshall Space Flight Center, but knows there are still many others who had a hand in space programs. Groundbreaking for the project was just a couple weeks ago. It'll be many months before it's finished, but the vision for the project is already crystal clear. And for those of you who are curious about the Elvis lookalikes that you saw on your screen, those are a part of the fundraiser. They'll be performing at the VBC tomorrow as a part of the ultimate Elvis experience. And all the proceeds for that concert will go directly to the memorial. Reporting live from the Space and Rocket Center, Daquan Lee, 48 on your side.